In this video, we're going to be setting up the Wolfpack video wall with the iSwitch MySwitch software. So first, what I'm going to do is go down to the Windows icon, right click it, go to my network connections. I want to make sure that my network card is in the same range as the transmitter and receivers. Double click on that. I'm going to go to properties internet protocol version 4 and I've already set this up and the IP address should be 169.254.0.100 with the subnet mask of 255.255.0.0 I'm going to select OK close this down now I'm going to install Bonjour and I've already installed it but I will just do a repair, click finish, close that down. Now I'm going to launch the iSwitch software. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to help, register, and we're going to need to get this code here. You can copy and email us so that we can give you a license code. But for now, I'm just going to go into configuration, system configuration. I have one source. I'm going to highlight and I'm going to select device list. And this is my transmitter. So you can either highlight here, type that in, or select, hold, and drag it over to there. And I'm going to name it Xbox and click save. It's going to reboot the software. Now I'm going to go back up to configuration, system configuration, screens. And I have four screens set up. Slide this over so it's easier to see. Go to device list. Here are my four receivers. So I'm just going to highlight and do the dragging over. And you can name these if you want. TV1, 2, TV3, TV4. I'm going to click Save. It's going to reboot again. So now I have my transmitter and four receivers connected. I'm going to plug in my source. Now my source is plugged in. So if you want to just do a standard video wall like this, we're going to go into configuration, video wall configuration. We have two rows and two columns. And we're going to select our TVs here. Click Save. So now to set up the video wall, you click on Setup, select the first TV press the shift key, hold the bottom right, highlight save, and you can see that the video wall has changed to a 2x2 two two video wall. Let's close all this down. So now if you need to do a rotation on the TVs, what you can do is let's go back to video wall, click setup, I'm going to cancel the wall group, so now I'm just back to single TVs, save. I'm going to delete this video wall. Now here on each TV is where you can do a rotation. So you right click on it, go down to rotate. I'm going to go 90 degrees. Now all TVs have been rotated the 90 degrees. 
I'm going to go back up to configuration, video wall. Again, we have a two by two. And I'm just going to put the IP back, put the IP addresses back in. I'm going to click save. Go over to setup again, highlight the first one, shift the last one, click save. Now you can see that it is a vertical 2x2 two two video wall.